So we're going to introduce the first law of thermodynamics and then do an example. And our first law of thermodynamics talks about the change in thermal or internal energy. And remember, we can calculate that explicitly for our ideal gases as 3 halves nRT. And since we, for an ideal gas, we have PV equals nRT, that also means that we can find U is 3 halves the product of pressure times volume. So I like to think of U being directly related to the temperature. If we know the number of bowls, we can calculate the temperature. The higher the temperature, the more the internal thermal energy we have. So if we want to change temperature, there's a couple of ways we can do it. And the first law says that one way you can do it is by adding or releasing heat, gaining or losing heat. The other way we can do it is by doing actual mechanical work on the system. So let's talk about how we can change that internal energy with heat or work. So let's take our container of gas first and add heat. So if we put a flame underneath it, we definitely expect that temperature to go up. So an increase in internal energy. And conversely, if we put ice underneath it, we expect that temperature to go down. And in that case, we're releasing heat. So adding heat or releasing heat definitely looks like it's going to affect the temperature. Now let's talk a little bit about the more challenging ones. If we have a box of gas, and we do work on the gas, which means that I'm going to push on the gas and make its volume smaller. Those molecules now are gonna be bouncing much more rapidly, hitting the sides, a lot more collisions going on. That should increase the temperature. And conversely, if we've got a small container and the gas does work and increases the volume and pushes it out, that's now going to relax that gas in the, the center there temperature is going to go down. So let's see what that looks like on a molecular level using our simulation. So I've got some molecules in here, in my closed container, and right now our temperature is 300 degrees Kelvin. Let's see if we can change that temperature, change that thermal energy within the system. And the first way I'm going to do that is add some heat to it, and I can definitely see the temperature goes up. And conversely, I can remove or take heat out of the system with my ice. And in that case, I've got that um, system losing heat and I see my temperature goes down. Now let's talk about the more challenging, the mechanical work. If I do work on the system, so here's my little man pushing on the box and making that box smaller. So since my volume is decreasing, this is negative work. You can see my temperature isn't increased. And conversely, if the gas does the work and pushes out on the box, you can see that temperature goes down. This is positive work because the volume's getting bigger. So for work, easy to remember, if the volume gets smaller, it's negative. If the volume gets bigger, it's positive work. Okay, let's try our example now. And I would encourage you for all of these to think about what the system's actually doing. So we've got a box of gas here, and we're doing two things to it. We're putting a flame underneath it and heating it up, so we expect that to increase the temperature, and we're doing work on the system, so we're going to push on this and make the volume smaller, and we expect that to raise the temperature as well. So we have two things that are increasing the temperature. We should see a big change in thermal energy. Okay, so they tell us how much heat we've added, plus because we've added. They tell us what work we've done, negative because the volume has gotten smaller. And they tell us what the initial thermal energy was, internal energy was. And remember, because this equals 3 halves nRT, if we knew the number of moles, we could actually figure out what temperature that corresponds to. So just kind of always remember that the thermal energy is proportional to the temperature. Okay, let's put it in our first law. The change in internal energy or thermal energy is going to be the heat that we've added or taken out minus the work done on or by the system. In this case, we added heat and we did work on the system. So it ends up with both of those ended up with adding internal energy to our system. And our change 
is 4,300. Now they didn't ask for our change, they asked for the final amount. We increased 4,300, but we started with 1,000. So remembering that change means final minus initial, our change was 4,300, put our initial on the other side, and that means we went from 1,000 up to 5,300, and our change here was 4,300. Okay, so in this case, we did two things to increase the thermal or internal energy of our system. Now let's start talking about some specific gas processes next. <laughs> 